Okay, so first of all, welcome to Comic Con. Thank um, you. Have you gotten to go down to the street, see the costumes, get the crazy? <sighs> no, sadly, I haven't. I've been, I Working. came to the hotel, you know, had to get hair and makeup, go to the event last night, and I'm yeah. here now, so listen, I'm here for you. Okay. I'll have to experience them another I know. time. Have you seen anything weird like yesterday? Even in the hotel and stuff, I was in CVS mm -hmm. and I saw like a porg from Star Wars, like a full dress, like trying to buy yeah. water. And I was like, wow, I'm at Comic Con. Nothing in the hotels yet? No, I haven't. Okay. I've been sheltered in my room. You're so sheltered. I'm sorry. Um, okay, there are so many stars that come to Comic Con mm -hmm. Chris Pratt, Nicole Kidman. Is there anyone you get starstruck over? Ooh, um, I mean, I used to have the biggest crush on Chris Pratt, like Andy Dwyer, Chris Pratt from yes. Parks and Rec. So if I saw him, you know, I might, I might give a little peek. But now he's like movie star Chris Pratt. He's yeah, like different. I mean, but, yeah, but you know, listen, I, I, I still have so much affection for Andy Dwyer, so that's who I see. And um, I know your sister's coming too for Godzilla. Mm -hmm, yeah. Is there any like sister bonding time? Do you have any uh, time? There's you guys no, uh, there's no overlap. She, I, I, I'm done today. She comes in a couple days. So you know, maybe you know, in the sky, I'll just wave to her. And what do you like? How do you guys keep your relationship going? Like mm -hmm. you're both in this business. It's crazy mm -hmm. for both of you. Like, yeah. do you go to each other for advice, or do you just? Are she the only person that treats you normal <laughs> now that you know what I mean? <laughs> no, she's. I mean, uh, listen, we're we're sisters, so that comes first before. Before anything, um, yeah, I definitely think that you know the fact that we're both in this industry and both actors that has brought us closer because we we can relate. Like I, she she can now complain to someone who understands when she's like, ah, oh, it's a rough day on set, 19 hour day, you know. Yeah. So I think it's good for her and good for me to be able to you know have someone who fully understands exactly what it what it entails. Now you're jumping into the the horror genre. You're sort of taking mm -hmm. that crown. Sure. When you were growing up. Uh -huh. Did you see any of her movies? Like, is this why you wanted to do horror? Or you like, um, uh, were you allowed to see them? <laughs> well, uh, I didn't really, I didn't grow, um, I didn't grow up watching horror films. Okay. And Vera, I mean, I think most recently, you know, she, you know, she, she's done Bates Motel and yeah. Conjuring and stuff, but. I mean, that's been, scary. Been, yeah, but it's been, it's been more, it's been more recent. So I, you know, yeah. growing up watching her films, it wasn't. Um, As scary. It, yeah, it wasn't, a, it wasn't scary films. So. Okay. Um, what scares you the most? God, everything. What I'm, do you the, have I to... am the jumpiest person. Anything, anything demonic. Um, I don't like opening myself up to that. You know, I don't. I don't know what I believe about supernatural and ghosts, but yeah. I'm the kind of person that's like, why open the doors? Why let it in? Because then yeah. I'll get an answer, and I don't want a definite answer. Well, I heard a rumor that ghosts can only travel in a straight line. Okay. So if you feel like a ghost is coming to like bend steps aside, or like turn, okay. Some advice for you. All right. Well, I'll keep that in my back Here pocket. Here at Comic-Con. You're welcome. You're like, <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> um, obviously, fans of American Horror Story are very excited mm -hmm. for this crossover mm -hmm. season. And I know you appeared in both of them. So is there any mm -hmm. chance that we could see you pop up? Oh, man. Um, honestly, I, I don't know. Um, you know, the decision's not up to me, but I'm, I'm happy to... To go if they want me. Okay. I mean, if there so, was, I mean, if there was a season, I feel like this would be it. But it's going to be incredible, crossed. I think. Yeah. Right? Do you have you heard anything from those castmates about how it's going to work and what the storyline is? Or, no, everybody, close? everybody is so tight-lipped because I think you know Ryan's got a good hold on them. He's like, no, we got to keep it yeah. secret. So people are, people hush, are not hush. saying anything. Mm -mm. They don't talk. I swear to you, I'm being sincere. They don't talk. That Ryan I'm Murphy. Sorry. <laughs> no, I know. And sometimes I see him, and I'm like trying to get secrets out too, and he's yeah. like, "No, it's very he's got that smile. He's got that, that you know that little uh, glint in his eye, but he doesn't, he doesn't say." Um, okay, I want to know for this how you conjure, if you will, <laughs> up, pun intended, uh, the the fear and the mm -hmm. scared. Like, are you just on, or do you mm -hmm. actually have to think? Tell me about that. You know, I mean, listen. The thing, yes, it's a horror movie, but you know, as an actress, we're just approaching it as real life, as a character. Yeah. So um, for me, it's not like, okay, focusing, I have to play the fear. You're focusing on, oh no, is someone around the corner? Oh no, what's that noise? Is someone behind me? Like, so naturally your body starts feeling that, that anxiety or that tension. So yeah. the fear just comes naturally. But you already know what's going to happen because you've read the script, or do you know? Yes, of course, you read the script, but it, you know you have to let it all go. You forget about that. You're in yeah. the moment. The whole thing is about being present. So, okay. you know, you don't think about the future. I mean, unless it's like a couple seconds ahead. Like, okay. I have to go through that door. It's dark. Okay. So what I think, what, what I wanted to get from you now is like a tutorial mm -hmm. a little bit. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll just look at the camera, and you just tell me what to think, and I'll see like if I could possibly be a movie star. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's go. Are you ready? ready? Okay. okay. <clears throat> I'm walking like, I don't right, know, set sorry, me up. All right, right, I? Okay. all right, so uh, you're walking down a tunnel. You turn left. All of a sudden, the lights seem to start dimming, and you're going down. And as you go dark, as you're going, as you look down the tunnel, it's just dark. 
and all of a sudden you hear this little scratching noise. <laughs> you can't laugh! Okay, okay, listen to me. You hear the scratching noise, it's right behind you, it's right on the wall, it's right in your ear, okay? All of a sudden you feel this, this little prickliness coming up your body, it's the, the little hairs on your body are sticking up. <laughs> something's there, something's there. Turn around, do you see something? Nothing's there, turn around again. <laughs> There's nothing there. Okay, I'm not gonna take your job anytime soon. It was pretty good. What Thank did you. you think? I'd like to keep my job. Yeah. Listen, you know, I think there's always room for improvement. Okay. And, you know. <laughs> um, last thing before I let you go, I know you gotta get out of here. Of um, <clears throat> uh, you and Vera have done films together. Last mm -hmm. one was 2003. Is the mm -hmm. 2003. 2003. You were born. <laughs> um, 2013. I was alive, just, you know, I think I was Small. walking, talking. Um, 2013, is there any chance you guys ever talk about working together again? Um. Yeah, I mean, it hasn't been like a serious conversation, but honestly, I admire her so much as an actress, I would jump at the chance, and I, I think I think she likes me. I think she'd do it again with me. Is there any possibility you would write something or like direct um, your own film? I, you know, I think the next thing I would love is, I would love to work with her again as a director. I think she's a phenomenal director. One thing I really love is actors who turn into directors because they really, really know how to how to communicate and, and, and get across what they need emotionally for, for the actor. Yeah. So I would love to have her be my director again.